A Fond du Lac man's charges include first-degree intentional homicide and mayhem. And authorities say the incident involved domestic abuse. Our Fond du Lac neighborhood reporter Margaret Cahill reports, and a warning first here, that some viewers might find the information in this story disturbing. You see count one, which is a charge of first-degree intentional homicide, repeater, use of a dangerous weapon. You see that? Yes. And given the nature of the charge, if you're found guilty, you can be sentenced to life in prison. You understand that? 57-year-old Gary Davis of Fond du Lac appeared in court today, facing charges of homicide, mayhem, and hiding a corpse. The state says the victim was 51-year-old Jacqueline Joe Rooney. Police were called to Rooney's apartment on November 12th to conduct a welfare check, where they found Rooney's body with over a dozen stab wounds, three skull fractures, and a broken jaw. The state alleges that the incident occurred at some point between November 8th and 9th. According to the criminal complaint, witnesses say Rooney and Davis were in a romantic relationship and had been arguing frequently. Incidents of domestic violence have been and remain by far the leading cause of all violent crime in our community. Fond du Lac PD will continue to work tirelessly to reduce the amount of domestic violence that we see in our community. We, so in the district attorney's office across Wisconsin, we have a victim witness office that uh, adds a resource to the court process and what that looks like. Surveillance footage from the night of November 8th showed Davis dropping off Rooney's car in a parking lot and entering a quick trip wearing shoes matching those found at Rooney's apartment. And cell phone logs show Rooney and Davis calling each other several times that night. Davis has a prior felony conviction for domestic abuse. The court set Davis's bail at $2 million, and he will return to court December 2nd. District Attorney Eric Tony asks anyone with additional information on this incident to contact the Fond du Lac Police Department. Reporting in Fond du Lac, I'm Margaret Cahill, NBC26.